During COVID, many customers were ordering takeout, which gave the owners an idea of opening a market right next door, combining the restaurant and other Italian goods. So we really tried to take some of the peripheral activities that we were doing at Vito's and put them on display here um, and have, yeah, just have a storefront for the take and bake options and just, you know, be able to provide some of these products that my husband Vito loves to go back to Italy and enjoy and it's um, harder to find it here locally. They were looking for quality food that could not be found in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, we've sourced from distributors um, not locally found. We've been looking all over and we traveled to New Jersey and found a distribution company that um, imports directly from these pretty small companies in Italy. Um, but the product is like just so superior to anything that we were able to find here. Vito says the market brought him back to certain memories from when he grew up in Italy. We opened the market. It was kind of like a, a really nice uh, remind of flavor for me to go through all these uh, different cheeses and meat. So that's what we pick our uh, line of meat and cheeses from, uh, from me growing up, but remember the stuff. Vito's Italian restaurant wants to bring flavors and diversity to the Harrisonburg community. I think it just brings in a different diversity element, um, helps people experience something maybe that they've not um, in the past experience, trying new things, finding out um, what other countries offer. Um, and I think that the Italian food is, is more readily available. Um, so just kind of having something different here in the area. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Kagan Hughes.